Welcome back to my channel and there are certain things that happen in the summertime that don't happen in the winter if you live in a kind of climate that I do here in New York it gets really hot in the summer or really cold in the winter so different things happen in the summer that we need remedies for so today I'm going to talk to you about some summer remedies my first remedy would be for sunburn this is a very popular occurrence where people get burnt by the Sun so of course you want to protect yourself for the sun to prevent the sunburn. So I would suggest finding a good sunblock and remembering to put it on and bring it with you at the beach. I have some recommendations for sunblock. These are more natural kind of sunblocks. I love the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Dry Oil Sunscreen. This is SPF 15. Not the most, but it's water resistant for 40 minutes and it's paraben free. Also, when you're out in the sun, make sure you protect your lips too because your lips can get really sunburned. Use a SPF lip balm. I personally love the Hid to Water lip balm. This has organic ingredients and SPF 15. And of course if you get sunburn, my biggest recommendation for that is take uh, the real aloe vera plant. A lot of people go and they buy aloe vera gel on the shelves of stores but I find with that if you are buying that I think that you should really read the ingredients first because there can be a huge list of ingredients full of parabens full of all other disgusting things that you don't want in your aloe vera gel actually even there is alcohol in a lot of them so that's not going to help your sunburn at all you want to find the most pure aloe vera that you can so if you can't get the pure aloe vera plant which is you just break the stalk off and put the gel on your skin then look for one of those uh, products on the shelves that are at least 99% aloe vera or 100% pure aloe vera and flip it around, read the ingredients first. Another great tip, if you're going to buy the aloe vera plant or you have one or you're gonna purchase just a stalk of it at the grocery store would be to mix that with cucumber before putting it on your skin because the cucumber will add an extra really, really soothing, cooling effect. Another great thing to use aloe for is bug bites. So aloe vera goes really well on a mosquito bite I think we've all gotten a mosquito bite before, have we? It gets really itchy, it swells up wherever the bug bit you, and you're just trying to be outside and have fun at night during the summer where it's still warm out and you're surrounded by mosquitoes that wanna suck your blood. The remedy to keep mosquitoes away from you, you wanna go for scents that they do not like. So a great scent to use would be either lemongrass or lavender oil. Mosquitoes particularly really hate lavender. You can also go for a citronella essential oil or even eucalyptus. So they really don't like those smells, so make sure you just take a few drops, mix it with a carrier oil, and rub it on your skin before you go out. Also for after the bug bite, you can use a relief spray like the Desert Essence Relief Spray. And this product has a lot of different calming ingredients like chamomile, marshmallow extract, tea tree oil to help kill bacteria but also calm your skin and relieve the itch. The next remedy is for frizzy hair. So I don't really mind frizzy hair that much. It's not a big deal with me, but I know when it gets really humid out and you have curly hair, it's kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Especially if you're at the beach, anyone kind of can get really frizzy hair. So with that being said, I really recommend Kukui oil for this. Uh, this You can get like the organic Kukui oil, or you can find a more pure version of the Kukui nut oil, but this is an ancient Hawaiian secret and it has a lot of waterproofing and hydrating effects, but it also really helps to find curls and tames the frizz. You can also use any other hair oil of your choice. You can use argan oil, avocado, macadamia nut, any kind of oil that you want to put in your hair will help tame the frizz and smooth your hair out. I also recommend brushes that have boar bristles, preferably the ones that are wood. Um, but you can also use a plastic one. Just the, the real boar bristles are the biggest thing uh, that I find will really help smooth your hair and it kind of just locks all the frizz down and makes your hair look so much better. Poison ivy. Eww. I just got over some poison ivy and I get it probably like three or four times a summer. I don't know how because I know what poison ivy looks like. So when you get poison ivy, if you've ever had it before, you know that it is the worst itch you've ever felt in your life and it oozes and it's just something you don't want to deal with in the summer. So a great remedy 
for that would also be to use the Desert Essence Relief Spray. But the main thing that I use is this Jewel Weed Soap. And Jewel Weed is a natural antidote for poison ivy. And it, of course it's a plant or a weed, but you can also find it in the form of a natural soap where they put it in there for you. So what I would do is every time I would shower, I would use this to wash the area. And then when I got out of the shower, I would just rub this on there and let it dry into a paste wherever I had the poison ivy. This really sped up the process and helped it kind of just start to scab up and dry up so much better. Another great tip for poison ivy would be to put a Band-Aid over it. I found that this really helped me this previous time because it would help prevent me from wanting to itch it just because there was something covering it and it really helped prevent like the oozing to just keep happening and spreading and all that yucky stuff. So try to put a Band-Aid over it, but remember to change it out and don't keep it on the whole time, let it heal. I will leave a link to that specific jewel weed soap if you're interested in purchasing it down below. It's by a brand called Grandma's. A lot of the time in the summer, we get dehydrated. So a remedy for dehydration, you're gonna be like, oh uh, yeah, drink water. But also I recommend trying coconut water because coconut water has electrolytes, magnesium, and potassium in it that will really help boost your hydration even quicker and more efficiently. So incorporate some coconut water into your diet this summer. And also if you have a kid, this one is great for kids, but I personally do this a lot when I don't feel like drinking water, but I do want something that's very, very high in water content is to eat some watermelon or you can make a watermelon slushy juice. So you just add ice, a little bit of regular water or coconut water to watermelon in a blender, blend that all up and you have a delicious slushy beverage and it's so much better than buying a Slurpee from 7-Eleven, so much better for you. And of course, avoid alcohol and avoid caffeinated beverages if you are dehydrated. Dry and peeling skin, so you get a tan or you get a sunburn and of course what follows next is a dry and peely, gross skin. A great remedy for that is to make sure you exfoliate really well. So get a great exfoliant, whether it be a sugar scrub, whether it be just a natural cloth that you're gonna use in the shower, or a loofah, make sure you exfoliate the area really well. That'll actually even help you with your tan and keeping your tan. Make sure you do that, but also make sure you keep your skin hydrated too. So I would recommend always using a facial moisturizer. I'm sure most of you already do, but if you don't, I highly recommend the Trader Joe's Nourish. This is an oil-free moisturizer, but it really works and it's antioxidant. Fragrance-free, it's one of my go-to moisturizers for my face. And you can also just use a skincare oil, like avocado oil. Just find a good oil for your skin that works for you, and that will help hydrate your skin and moisturize it. In the summer, if it's hot where you live, it's gonna be disgustingly, disgustingly hot out some days, and you may sweat. So a great remedy for excessive sweating, and basically the things that go along with that is to just bring like a spray bottle filled with essential oil in it. I have lavender in here with a little bit of tea tree um, and water to just kind of spritz your face with when it's unbearably hot out and you feel gross. This will also, if you're wearing makeup, kind of give you a quick refresher, make it look more natural, and it just generally feels amazing to just put this on your face or on your skin or your chest, the back of your neck. And if you wear makeup, make sure to Get a waterproof mascara. I am just all about the waterproof mascara, especially in the summer. I have a few here. These are just ones that I have, and these are all waterproof. And it really helps to just put this on instead of regular mascara because one, it, it holds a curl better on your eyelash, and two, you won't have the mascara running down your face, obviously. And I usually avoid putting it under my eyes on the bottom lashes when I know I'm gonna be by the pool or at the beach because I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> if you shave any part of your body, you may have experienced razor bumps. And in the summer, this is a more annoying problem, especially if you've shaved your bikini area and you're just trying to wear your bathing suit and there's all these red bumps. So my biggest tip for that is when you get out of the shower, have a tea tree oil spray ready. This is just pure tea tree oil, 100% Australian. Um, and I put this in water and I just spray this everywhere that I shaved right after I get out of the shower from shaving. So that helps prevent the razor pumps and any irritation really. It's a very soothing and antibacterial, anti-inflammatory kind of quality. 
And after the fact, maybe it didn't work for you or you forgot to do it or you don't have tea tree oil, maybe you can get the Desert Essence Spray because this also really helps soothe those, all the chamomile, the marshmallow, and the tea tree. Will help bring down the redness and help get them out of your way faster. In preparation, always remember to exfoliate before you shave to avoid the razor bumps and don't exfoliate right after you shave. Last but not least, and definitely not all, because there are many th different remedies that you might need in the summer that I might not cover here. And if I have not covered something that you are curious about, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will try to give you an answer. So, last is motion sickness. Uh, this is something that I know a lot about. I am so susceptible to motion sickness. Um, I can't sit in the back seat of a car. A lot of the times even being in the car where, where I'm not driving, even if I'm in the front seat, I'll get motion sick just from the other person driving. Even if I'm looking out at the horizon, you know, everything like that, that they would always tell you, don't eat before you drive. It doesn't matter, I'll still get motion sick. If you've ever been motion sick before, you know it's like the worst feeling ever. So my remedies for this and what I personally use are number one are the C-bands, so it doesn't matter if you're not on a boat. These work really well, even for pregnant women. Um, you just put them. It's like an ancient Chinese kind of acupressure treatment. You put them like three inches above your wrist. Make sure you put both of them on, obviously but these help to relieve the nausea from motion sickness. And I would recommend maybe an hour or a half hour before going in the car, boat, wherever you are gonna get motion sick, is to take a ginger root capsule. This is the Nature's Bounty ginger root. Uh, this is 50, 550 milligrams and it helps with the occasional motion sickness. You can also use it for stomach aches and digestion issues and anything like that, but I really recommend this probably just an hour or so before you go wherever you're going and it really helps even if you already got motion sick pop a ginger pill and it will really help if you really can't swallow pills or you're not into them or you want to find a different way to incorporate ginger into your body for the motion sickness I would suggest just getting like ginger candies or something like that you can get candy ginger or you can get little tablet chewable things like this I get this from a local health food store by me comes with a bunch of ginger little candies they're not too bad tasting and they work pretty fast this is vegan allergy free certified organic non-gmo gluten free every good thing there and i love to use them and when i find i need something more heavy duty i reach for the nauseen motion this is non-drowsy and it's homeopathic completely fully natural and um this helps the nausea and the motion sickness so well. Even if you're not motion sick, maybe you're just nauseous in general, wherever you are, this kicks it out immediately. So those are all the summer remedies that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please share it, subscribe it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or requests for future videos or more remedies of any kind, please leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Bye. From the boys in the blue My car smell like chocolate Hey now, think about what you do And think about what you say Think about what you think Boys are playing, boys are playing I think I left it on